We took five chainsaws with 20 to 24 inch bar lengths and put them through a gauntlet of rigorous tests to determine the best large capacity battery powered chainsaw. Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of our best battery chainsaw head to head. Last month, we covered the 16 to 18 inch bar length chainsaws. And they are an excellent size for most users and, and most tasks, right? But one of our main goals with this project was to show, to show you guys just how far this battery platform, these saws, can come and have come in terms of power and performance. So to truly stress these platforms, we had to break out the big 20 to 24 inch chainsaws. Many tree care and forestry pros rely on a 20 inch saw as their do all workhorse. Firewood cutters often refer to a 60cc saw with a 20 inch bar as the one saw solution. This length offers enough cutting capacity for everything from limbing to bucking larger wood as long as the saw has the power to pull a bigger, heavier chain without bogging down. That gave us a big question to answer. Is there a true battery placement right. in this category? Right. We identified five models sold with an OEM of 20 inch or longer bars. And we then ran them through a battery test to determine the best large capacity chainsaw for 2025. Our test was comprised of five chainsaws and ranged from 40 volt homeowner units to 82 volt commercial grade saws. With a bar this long, these tools offer production capability far beyond what the right. 16 to 18 inch class can handle. Whether you're a serious DIYer, acreage owner, or a seasoned forestry pro, our goal is to help you find the saw that fits your needs. Absolutely, and so our chainsaw lineup, we looked at DeWalt, the 60 volt flex volt with a 20 inch blade, Ego's 56 volt 20 inch blade, the Greenworks commercial 82 volt hog 24 inch blade, big, big saw, yeah. The Milwaukee M18 fuel 20 inch dual battery saw, the Ryobi 40 volt HP 20 inch. To fairly and consistently evaluate each of these saws, we divided them into eight different categories that we looked at. Weight, noise, speed cutting, runtime cutting, or cross cutting is what we did, and board milling, which was our torture test. And of course, we run you through features, ergonomics, and pricing. Price was not factored into the final combined score, but we do use it in our best value category. So performance and scoring, how do we put this all together? Each saw's rank and performance across all eight categories contributed to their overall score. Because cutting performance is our highest priority, Two of our performance categories were double weighted in the overall makes ranking. Makes sense, yeah. And, and this data-driven evaluation allows us to basically name the best saw for you guys. So the first category was our chainsaw weight, and as as everybody who uses tools know, fatigue's a factor, right? So weight plays a major role, especially for pro users and serious DIYers. If a battery-powered saw is too heavy to handle comfortably, any performance advantage quickly disappears. So to understand the true working weight of each tool, we weighed the saws fully assembled with a full bar oil tank and batteries installed. So Ryobi took first place with an assembled weight of just 14.9 pounds. DeWalt followed in second at 17.42 pounds and Ego came in third at 19.16 pounds. Milwaukee and Greenworks rounded out the category. One notable detail, the Greenworks saw is more than six yeah. pounds heavier than the Ryobi despite it being relatively similar in size. I know, it's a solid built saw though. Then we looked at decibel noise output. Chainsaws aren't known for being quiet, but battery powered models generally produce noticeably less noise than gas, right? To compare these models fairly, we, we tested each one under load conditions. I'm sorry, under no load conditions. And each saw was run for 30 seconds while that decibel meter was capturing its peak reading. Milwaukee, Claimed the top spot, it was 88.2 decibels. DeWalt, very close behind it, 89.1. And then Ryobi was just behind with 89.2. Ego was fourth, 95.2, and Greenworks was up, uh, finished off at 103.5. And they're all louder cutting through the wood. That's yeah, something to notice. So for our speed cut testing, we used treated pine utility poles, right. clean, consistent, and commonly encountered by linemen and other utility professionals. We matched poles as closely as possible and rotated pieces as needed to maintain uniform diameters. Each pole was measured roughly 10 and three quarter inches with about a quarter inch of natural variation. Right. The poles were suspended at waist height using a mini skid steer. Each saw completed three cuts, down, up, down, and the full sequence was repeated three times to establish an average cutting time. The Greenworks hog dominated the test with impressive average speed of 15.58 seconds. Ryobi delivered a surprisingly second place finish at 16.62 seconds, uh, close to the hog, right on the hog's heels. Milwaukee followed at 17.54 seconds, Ego at 20.53, 
and DeWalt was 2317, I think. Given the size and capability of these saws, our operators push them hard. And even the slowest saw in this group cut nearly 10 seconds faster than the third place finisher in our previous 16 right. to 18 inch head to head. Yeah, that was impressive. So cross cut runtime test. We like to do runtime tests. I know they're brutal on us sometimes, yeah. but uh, the second performance we did was that runtime test. And we basically, single battery charge runtime, we were looking at kind of like a cookie cutter, a wafer cutting test. Most of the saws have a maximum cutting depth of about two inches shorter than the bar length due to the felling spikes, right? The Greenworks Hog features a longer bar than the rest of the, the saws. So to standardize testing, we milled beams two inches shorter than the 20 inch bar length, ensuring that all the saws were cutting at nearly their 90% maximum capacity. To prevent overheating during this demanding test, operators actually rotated the saws. Each saw made two cuts, then was set aside while the, another saw cut from the opposite side of the beam. This maintained consistent conditions and avoided uh, thermal overload. The Greenworks commercial, again, took first place with 13 full cuts. Ryobi, surprised with second place, competing, completing eight full cuts yeah. and an 11 inch partial cut. That was impressive. Milwaukee came in third with seven full cuts plus a 10 inch partial. Ego fourth with six full cuts plus four and DeWalt finished fifth with five total cuts. And completing this test without overheating for any of the saws is impressive, especially given the large bar lengths and the heavy duty kind of oak material that we were cutting through. So from there, we moved on to what we called our milling torture test. And this was probably the most demanding test that we did. Chainsaws are essential tools for homesteaders and, and, and folks in remote areas who maybe mill their own lumber or you know working out in the woods, cutting their own wood, whatever. To evaluate the battery saw's capabilities in this role, we set up kind of a very rigorous milling scenario. And we used, it was kind of a cool rig. Neat. We used a vintage, I think it's called a Hadon, or Hadon, Hadon Lumber Maker. And it's a milling guide. We mounted it on a strip of composite decking, which was then attached to a massive four-sided oak cant. It was like a giant track saw. Yeah, it was yeah. like a giant track saw for chainsaw. Now, if you don't know what a cant is, because I did not when we first started this, a cant is a log from a tree that has been sewn down or milled down to roughly a squared timber with at least one, but oftentimes four flat sides. Each saw was mounted in the guide, that track saw guide, allowing the bar to pivot freely in a vertical position and cut through the log until the battery was fully drained. For most saws, this became a true test of endurance. Yeah, it was an brutal, absolute brutal, brutal test. They're really not meant to be used in this way. Since cutting depths varied due to mounting positions, bar length, voltage, and battery capacity, raw performance data wasn't directly comparable. So to standardize the results, we thought this would be kind of helpful, we calculated inches cut per watt hour right. using each saw's total watt hours, cut depth, and cut length. And that made sense. Uh, that, that just was a fair way to it. kind of shows it. you how efficiently they're right. turning energy into cutting performance. Gas tank and all that. Yeah. So the milling test results. So the, the Milwaukee had 4.17 watt hours or cuts per inches, watt hour. Inches, inches per, per, watt. per watt yeah. hour. Right. I always get, I always screw that up. <laughs> uh, DeWalt had 3.43 inches per watt hour. Watt hour. Ryobi was 3.35 inches per watt hour. Ego, they had 2.03 inches watt per watt hour, and Greenworks had 1.17 inch per watt hour. Now look, this test pushed every one of the saws to limit, even the Greenworks. The DeWalt, for example, shut down multiple times during milling. We had to, requiring us to kind of reset it, reset the, the trigger. And meanwhile, saws designed for raw power, such as the Greenworks hog, it fell short in efficiency here, highlighting just how each manufacturer balances, you know, their secret yeah. sauce, right, between power, endurance, and, and cutting strategies. I think you see something like the, the, the hog that has so much extra weight and watt hours is just able to sort of force its way through it. Yeah. That's kind of what you want uh, in yeah. a saw like that. So we move on to features. Features matter, but only when they're executed well. A chainsaw is a working tool. If a feature slows you down, breaks easily, or adds unnecessary complexity, it's a liability instead of a benefit. With that in mind, our team evaluated each saw on adjustability, ease of use, safety, and practical innovations. Yeah. So for example, where you know, we consistently ask these questions when we were evaluating those bullet items. We were trying to say, okay guys, you know, is the chain tension easy to adjust? Does it does it hold its one setting? Does it hold its setting one set? Do the felling spikes, the dogs, do they effectively grip the wood or not? And so we were trying to get everybody to think on that mindset. You know, is the bar and chain tank um, easily accessible? Can you access it? Can you adjust things? So with that in mind, the Greedworks took top spot thanks to its rock solid chain tensioning system, aggressive dogs, metal felling spikes, highly adjustable oiler, really easy to use, 
uh, and clean intuitive control layout. The display screen provides pretty useful information without really going overboard. It doesn't give you the minutia stuff that you really don't need. And the soft felt purpose built for pro demand. Ryobi impressed us with its simplicity and straightforward design, yeah. though it lacked refinements. Milwaukee offered a robust build and smart control placement, but the dual battery arrangement added complexity. Yeah, it's bulky too. Ego had a great display, but lacked power. Ego was also the only saw we tested that featured a work light. Something that I thought right. a lot of, would sort of standard on these Ego saws reminds right now. me of like a Tesla or something. It's all displays. I, know, I love their nice displays. They're always <laughs> kind of fun. While this may stand out to homeowners, the pros on our crew found no practical use for the light. So that, that kind of shows you I'm not right. a pro. <laughs> DeWalt's construction was tough, but the controls felt cramped. Right. And overall, the Greenworks delivered the most complete feature package. Our crew also agreed that extra speed modes and settings and things like that, they're not a major selling point on a chainsaw. You just want to be able to cut it. We moved on from for features to ergonomics, and ergonomics plays a major role in user fatigue, cutting accuracy, overall confidence on the tool, especially in a large frame chainsaw like this. So some of the things we looked at for ergonomics were the grip, the contour of the grip, texture, hand placement, control layout, battery access, being able to manipulate that, and overall balance of the tool. The Greenworks, why don't you tell yeah, us about Yeah, Greenworks claimed the top spot with its superior all-around handling. Despite its weight, the saw felt stable and predictable, while the forward handle design provided an excellent leverage for plunge cuts. The grip textures struck a perfect balance between comfort and security. Ryobi stood out for its excellent balance and overall feel. Milwaukee offered smooth, responsive performance, but was noticeably top-heavy due to its dual battery design. Yeah. Ego, on the other hand, struggled with balance for its size and had a less effective forward handle design. DeWalt, on the other hand, faced issues with cramp controls. We talked about the cramping yeah. earlier on it. Uh, less refined kind of balance. So, who has the best large capacity chainsaw? Well, our overall winner was determined by ranking each saw across all seven categories, and the saw with the lowest total points took that crown. And that honor goes to the Greenworks Commercial Hog, scoring at 21 points. From the moment our crew first saw the Greenworks Hog, expectations were high and they delivered. Designed as a high output, gasless saw, the hog proved to be a true gas saw replacement in both power and performance. Offering 20, 24, and 28 inch bar options, even more than we tested, the hog impressed us with aggressive felling spikes, a robust chain tensioning system, and an adjustable oiler. Its seamless controls and intuitive information display were well received by our testers. Everybody loved it. In performance tests, it's, it dominated our speed cut and our cross cut yeah. scenario. Though it struggled in milling and showing that it excels in short, intense bursts rather than, say, a prolonged, deep cutting. These capabilities come at a cost, though. Yeah. The hog was the loudest, heaviest, and most expensive saw we tested uh, with a bare tool price of $1,200. Yeah, pro saw for pro, pro saw. user, yep. you know, pro cost. Yep. We had some close contenders. Yeah. Ryobi 40 volt, 23 points, following the KISS principle. Keep, Keep it, it simple, simple stupid. stupid. The Ryobi impressed with its straightforward design. It features a single, easy change battery, and strong low-end torque that handled test logs effortlessly. Despite being the lightest saw in the lineup, it remained balanced and competitive in both speed cutting and cross-cut cross tests, cut. all while maintaining a lower purchase price. Right, basically its weaknesses were it has a bulky grip, slightly harder to reach controls, and it does have a little bit of a longer ramp up yeah. time. The Milwaukee saw was 25 points, uh, wasn't the fastest cutter, wasn't uh, the slowest, but it showed incredible endurance, particularly in the milling test. It surprised all of us uh, with nearly a foot more total cut length and an impressive efficiency rating. It was also the quietest saw and felt smooth and responsive when using. It's powered by dual batteries on either side, which adds bulk and it creates kind of a heavy, slightly rear biased balance, right? The Ego 56 volt scored 31 points followed by DeWalt 60 volt at 35 points. Both saws fell short in performance and ergonomics. The DeWalt felt a little bit cramped with oversized grips and awkward controls, while the Ego offered a great display and battery monitoring system, but lacked cutting power. Both bogged down under pressure, though they remained strong options for users already invested in their respective battery platforms. So if you already have those batteries, don't let them turn yeah. you off from that. 100%. So moving on to price, what, you know, while price is an important factor for most users, you often get what you pay for. I truly have learned that lesson. Um, in every one of our head-to-head -head comparison tests, every one, the top performing tools also tend to be the highest price, yeah. right? They have no surprise there. No surprise. That said, we frequently come across surprising values that defy expectations. We strongly recommend you stay within your current battery ecosystem whenever you can. However, 
there are times when branching out might be necessary to find that tool that maybe better suits your needs or application. So our rankings, they're based on bare tool price at the time of this test. And Ego came in at the lowest price option at 329, which surprised me by the way, yeah. followed closely by Ryobi at 349. Yeah, both of these options offer great value for users already on the Ego 56 volt or their Ryobi 40 volt battery yep. platform, a little different than their 18 volt. DeWalt took third place at $419 with Milwaukee in fourth at 699. And rounding out, like we talked about, the Greenworks commercial came in last at 1,269.69. Absolutely, yeah, it's crazy. That brings us to best value chainsaw. And the Ryobi 40 volt 20 inch saw earns our best value award. Yeah, no surprise there. It never, yeah, I mean, they do really well at that. While it doesn't boast the raw power of the Greenworks hog or the milling proudness of the Milwaukee, it delivers an outstanding balance of performance, weight, and affordability. The Ryobi topped our weight category, placed second in, in both speed cutting and cross cutting, and while being one of the more budget-friendly options, right? This saw is ideal for homeowners, farmers, and pros needing a reliable, versatile tool without the heft and cost of a larger pro model. Yeah. Its compatibility with the Ryobi 40 volt line is an added bonus for anyone already invested in their ecosystem. The Ryobi proves that you don't need to spend over $1,000 yeah. to handle demanding cutting tasks uh, effectively. I think final thoughts here, Jeff, for me are, are battery chainsaws, they officially invented a new era. And if you think about it, a few years ago, chainsaws this big would never be considered. They were just a novelty. Now it's a legitimate tool that can be replaced and replace a mid-sized saw for many users. What stood out most in this test is how differently each manufacturer approached the challenge. Some prioritized raw power, others were efficiency, some simplicity, ergonomics, or even just refinement. Yeah, the result is a very diverse field where each saw has a clear target user. Greenworks Commercial proved that a true gas replacement saw is possible, if not expensive. Yep, expensive. Ryobi shocked everyone with a lightweight, affordable, and incredible capable option. Milwaukee demonstrated unmatched determination and efficiency in long demanding cuts. And then Ego and DeWalt remain solid choices for users already in their ecosystems. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, the bottom line here, guys, you know, whether you are a property owner clearing some storm damage or pruning trees, a firewood cutter stocking up for the winter, or a pro who wants a quieter, cleaner alternative yeah. to their gas saw, there's now a battery option that can get the job done. So that's it for this head-to-head. -head. We have a lot coming down the pipeline. We are picking out part two and part three of our vacuum head-to-head. -head. That's right. And we yep. have track saws coming down the line. The Two Lab crew is gearing up for our next head-to-head. -head. I'll give you a hint what it is. We are missing still DeWalt. Milwaukee and I think Bosch, but we're getting close. When we first did track saws, I think there were three or four of them. Now we're testing yeah. eight, we seven, eight, nine. There's a yeah. whole bunch right over there. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you the next Head to Head. Uh, please remember to like, comment. We love hearing from you. And please subscribe and hit that notification bell right there. Take, Take care. care.